What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we are going to be taking our Foresto up to Supreme Plus. I have gotten uh, one additional summon copy, and beyond that we have the guild coins now, and the big reason for that is, honestly, Supreme Plus is very, very strong on him, giving both him and his illusion a shield equal to 570% of their attack when the battle starts. Uh, that is huge for that initial survivability, and beyond that, Foresto has become pretty much god tier when it comes to pushing afk battles if you actually take a look at the progress uh and you take a look at the teams most people are using in the records most of them have shifted to it on a regular basis especially people that don't have paragon like people with paragon they can just muscle through just about any wave but other people that are not having paragon heroes or even not a ton of them uh freesto is the go-to tank for pushing when you're very far in the afk stages now that does not mean you're going to be able to uh let's just show you guys what my favorite team is right now i've showed it to you the other day it is the summoner team that i've been really really enjoying uh, we need to throw these heroes in, see what it looks like, and then, of course, we need to change what heroes are in our Residence Hall because we do have some of them to uh, 430, and our main three heroes are, like, at 440 now. Uh, damage is always kind of lacking with this team. Survivability on some of these, not so much. When there's a Smokey, my goodness, this is not going to be the squad we want to run. But first and foremost, let's go to the Mythic House. Let's go to the Emporium. Let's go, well, I was right there, the Dream Store. And we are going to grab our final copy for 30,000. Now, now that I've done this, I'm not taking any of these other heroes from Mythic Plus up to Supreme Plus. So I'm going to save on that. Uh, and beyond that, we are going to start saving up all of our stargazing uh until potentially maybe Taylene comes out because it sounds like that i mean she's been referenced a couple times now it seems like we might get a chance so i'm going to continue to save these up by any of those really good pop-up packs that come with it and see what we can do but in the meantime we are taking him to supreme plus to do some final testing on him not only that is he's also gaining a ton of stats so we take a look uh, the stat gains that is going to be amazing we're not taking his exclusive any higher because again he's a tank but now we do have that huge shield and i'm intrigued to see how much of his hp bar 570 percent of his attack actually ends up being uh you can see his hp just went up through the roof holy cow 13 what uh yeah that's more than even granny at supreme plus let's take a look at some of the other popular tanks here too uh 16 4 so still not as tanky hp wise as like a thorin is uh they have pretty much the same investment but you can see thirty-five thousand magic defense and physical defense versus only 25 so he's tankier as far as limiting the damage coming in versus thorin uh just a little bit different of a hero so let's do this right here i've been doing dream realm a ton what i want to do is swap back into our summoner squad mainly the ones that are going to be doing damage and then of course the others are going to be heroes like coco and of course where is he damien there we go this is going to be our team let's see if just switching that around I, I first and foremost though i want to see the sides of the shield so let's take everybody else out of this lineup for a second i want to see what this shield actually looks like sidewise that is a pretty significant amount that's like a third of his overall health and you can see just running both of them uh tanky enough to absorb this wave granted there is tons of healing and buffers in the back row that's not gonna quite work out but i kind of like how that worked out now i mean i actually liked how it kept the enemy separate when we placed them like this too however that does mean we're gonna have to put some other heroes very close to the front line here we're gonna have to just shift everybody closer so that coco's still in the back but that does keep the all of them apart which means we're gonna get the maximum burial summons too which is pretty cool let's see if we can actually out damage them now we have higher resonance our tankiness is definitely better i'm sorry guys i know this is probably one of the hardest teams to understand what is going on but it is by far my absolute favorite team right now uh it's just i love it i love this summoner team it is one of the tankiest squads i have ever found and honestly it does really good in afk stages overall we had previously pushed to our max yesterday now that we have three heroes to 440 it should really help and uh yeah that's what i like to see here he's definitely not a damage dealer even if what they say where his illusion damage isn't co contributing here he's still under the what four no he's under the three billion damage mark or 30 
no, 3 billion, yeah. He does tank a lot of damage, which is cool. And again, like I said, he is like the best tank in the game right now. Let's see how far we can go with some auto battle here. Again, really love Burial in this team too. I love the Coco giving those uh, damage reduction to all the summons. And then after that, giving them shields. Damien has insanely high healing. I feel like out of all of them, Damien's the one I can drop more often because the healing isn't as necessary with having Coco in the lineup. Uh, I'm actually intrigued to see. Yeah, Peril doing some crazy amounts of damage there, which is cool to see. Uh, but it definitely helps the tankiness here, going for Supreme Plus. You can see the gigantic shield he gets, the, the summon. Holy cow, because you have to remember, both Damien and Coco are support heroes, and they both, I think, actually have... They have at least the uh, the epic or maybe the legendary version of their charms, their magic charms, and that's basically leading us to have a gigantic shield on the summon version. Now, this lineup is a weird one because they charged us, but luckily they all separated, and this is going pretty smooth. I'm liking this team. This is, again, one of my favorite teams, and now the only thing we did occasionally have issues with was the Freesto survivability, and I think what this team actually allows us to do is if we want to drop the Damien off for more damage, we can still stick with a really fun, like, meme type team with full summoners. We get extra extra crowd control from the Cessia as well. Uh, and we get an additional summon and crowd control with Cessia. And this team can work just as well because most of the things that are dying are the summons way on the other side of the battlefield. Damien's healing doesn't really help with that. Uh, but if we do get this Mr. Carlisle on the battlefield too, it just leads to a ton of damage. I'm intrigued to see how much she did compared to the other two. Seeing how good Burial is does make me kind of consider bringing him up to Supreme Plus, but that just doesn't seem like a smart investment on this account when we want to continue saving for other Celestial and Hypogen heroes. Maybe we do it down the road when we have extra resources or something. Uh, but yeah, this is where Sessi is going to really thrive with all that AoE damage there. And this squad has surprisingly a decent amount of AoE now adding Sessi into the squad as well. Gives them that good root and everything. And yeah, that's <laughs> it's actually not that bad. And now that we have a tankier front line here, looking pretty good. This is what I like to see. Of course, Burial doing no damage when the enemies are all clumped up because he doesn't get to summon and do all the damage to isolated heroes. So it is like a pick and choose. You can throw Sessian instead of Burial when we're dealing like that previous wave where everybody's clumped up. Uh, but yeah, Fresto has absolutely no chance of dying at this point. He still had, like, previously chances of dying, uh, even without healing. Because, again, we have Coco healing still from her magic charms, too. And just the summons are absorbing all the hits. So any healing that does need to happen, it goes right to Freesto. And now that he had that additional shield to basically buy him, he basically has that shield now until Coco gets her ultimate. And then her shields come up after her ultimate drops off. Pretty insane. This is the one weakness of this team, is if the enemy team does have really good survivability, you might not be able to out damage it. You can see the enemy team just going back up to full over and over again. It's really, really frustrating, but you can always do little tech changes to it as well. The Sessie's not quite working out. Nope, not the Odie. Uh, no, not, not the Smokey. I want the Odie in the team, and then the Odie can potentially start doing some good damage, especially if we mainly control him, uh, and we just target enemies down essentially we can just hyper focus single targets here uh so that he doesn't spread his damage around and we can take one target out at a time hopefully uh there we go even if healing is coming in we can then just work through the list here get the damage ramping up take out enemies and in the meantime survivability for this type of squad is not really an issue here uh simply because we have so many summons they're absorbing so many hits coco is overpowered uh, might want to focus like the Haywin. I might be going after the front line on accident here. We can try this again one more time, but I think it, no matter what with Odie, like he's just, he's still one of the best heroes in the game, even if he isn't the tippity top of the dream realm anymore now that we're in endless. But you can see there's always little tech choices you can make with that one flex spot in this team. And you can see how much damage <laughs> Varyl's doing and everybody else. So I wanted to show that off. That's essentially what we're going to be pushing with on our account with that summoner team, just because I'm tired of doing meta stuff. I want to do some off 
off meta things and hey we're continuing to power up our squad uh the big issue right now are the season manuals but we're just like one day away from the world boss i believe right the primal lord is yep it's coming tonight so that should solve a lot of those issues but in the meantime, Freyesto doing Freyesto things. And now with this right here, he's super tanky. Uh, we are soon in like one day going to be getting him his mythic set of items too. So that's going to be cool because we can just buy the whole set. And yeah, Supreme Plus, a lot of tankiness. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.